Welcome to today's day trading recap for Thursday, June 17th. Uh, decent little green day today, plus 577 on the day. Let's go over these. I'll show you what we did, uh, starting with the mighty 90s. Had one trade in Zoom, minus 380. No pairs trades today. And then on the runners, uh, Disney, first trade out of the gate was a loser, minus 984. That one was quick and painful. And then uh, turn around with Amazon, booked 1625. So that was nice and pleasant. Uh, DKNG 176, Tesla 455, and then the S&P futures took a runner for minus 315. So let's take a look at these and I'll show you what we did. Starting with uh, Zoom on the Mighty 90. So this was a, this is actually a later in the morning trade. And you know, the, the, the NASDAQ just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. So I was looking for a, a point of a little bit of a pullback I uh, had some spikes in volume in Zoom, and I was patient. I waited to get short right here, but this thing just kind of grinded. I, I was thinking about, I, I actually tried, put it in an order to add up here, and then it came down. I was like, well, just I missed it, but maybe this thing will keep going down. And then it just started grinding, and I was kind of done for the day, so I just cut out and took a loss on Zoom. Uh, on to the runners. So we had one in Disney. So the first, this was the first trade of the day, and... Um, and so we had a nice little volume spike on the second bar, pulled back, looking to get long for a continuation, and Disney just flushed. By the time I got out, it was a minus 984, so that didn't feel good. And then Amazon, my second trade of the day. Uh, this one had this big push up, pulled right back down to unchanged, got long right here, and basically just caught this move right here. Uh, with four contracts, that was good for 1625 in Amazon. Obviously, Amazon just continued to rip higher, and, and it's continuing to rip to new highs on the day right now. So super strong. A lot of these tech stocks coming back after showing a little bit of weakness yesterday after the FOMC announcement, and they just ripped today. Uh, I mean, you look at NVIDIA is just ripping higher today. Uh, I mentioned Amazon, Tesla, and financials. Going a little off uh, off topic here, but financials looked really strong after the Fed announcement yesterday, and they've just been tanking. You look at Wells Fargo down 4.7%, J.P. Morgan down almost 3%. If you look at XLF, which is the financials ETF, down almost 3%. So uh, financials acted like they liked the Fed announcement yesterday, uh, going into the close, and then today just absolutely fell apart. Now I didn't I didn't trade any financials today, but uh, just kind of interesting price action. Uh, next runner was DKNG. So DKNG, uh, this was one where, let me open this up. This is one where it, it kept pushing, trying to go above this pivot, trying to go above, trying to go above and getting pulled down. And then we got this volume spike. So when it broke below this right here in this bar, I got short and just caught this little piece here. I was holding one piece for a little bit more downside, didn't, when it, so when it bounced, I just cut out of that last piece and ended up booking a small profit of 176. And then Tesla, Tesla. Um, so Tesla was strong um, and it kept pushing. So when it pulled back to yesterday's high, I got long right here, and then when it pulled back to the the top of this price level here, so right here, I added to it uh, and caught this bounce here and just and got out so a total of 455 on tesla and then lastly on the s p futures here uh, forward slash mes just did just did small just did the micros uh, uh the s p was acting weak when the when the nasdaq was still just continuing to push and then all of a sudden the the s p caught a bid pushed all the way up to high of day and so i i really thought okay the s it's the s p's turn s p is going to have a push now uh, so when it pulled back to right here, right to this top of this price level, I got long right here looking for a bounce. Uh, instead, it just kind of led lower. So I ended up cutting out of it and just taking small loss on the S&P. So plus 577 for the day. I will take it and uh, be done for the day. So hope everybody had a good day. I know a lot of folks in the community were posting big profits today. So that's awesome. Um, we will be streaming live tomorrow on Friday, and then we'll be streaming live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, offline Thursday and Friday. So look forward to seeing you there.